Well, everyone, it looks like it's going to be a very, very busy day here at Volcano Bay. The crowds are absolutely insane. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we are at Volcano Bay covering the summer crowds because it is Memorial Day weekend. The crowds are already super, super high, but it's going to be a very fun day. And I'm going to give you all some tips to survive the summer here at Volcano Bay. Let's go have some fun. If you all enjoyed today's video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here, and ring that bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. Today's gonna be a lot of fun and a lot of tips coming your way. In today's video, I'm gonna give you all tips on how to survive summer and the massive summer crowds here at Volcano Bay, and I hope this video is very, very informational. Best piece of advice, everyone, because it is busy here in Volcano Bay, first thing you need to do is come and find your seat because they do go very, very fast. Tip number two everyone is to arrive here to volcano bay as early as possible as of right now the water park opens at 10 a.m but if you are an annual pass holder or a resort guest you do get to come into the park 30 minutes early so once again if you're an annual pass holder or staying at one of the universal orlando resorts take full advantage of those 30 minutes and ride some rides because those wait times get up and all the chairs i mean besides those they get taken very fast. Tip number three, take advantage of the ride now feature. I'm about to go ride the oh yeah slide and Emily is going to film me. But a bunch of rides right in the morning, we'll say ride now, take advantage of them because the wait times will go up in the afternoon. We now have our Tapu Tapu, everyone, and we're about to go tap in to the best ride here, the Krakatoa. So typically in the morning, this is a ride now, but the parks are getting so busy. It is already a 40 minute wait. Crazy, crazy. Tip number four, everyone, is use this bad boy to your advantage. This is the Tapu Tapu, and basically is your virtual wait for all the big water slides here at the park. You basically just go and tap this on the ride if it has a wait time and then come back at the wait time when it gives you your return notification right here. Return anytime for Krakatoa, which we tapped earlier and now it's time to go ride it. So we just tapped into the ride everyone with our Tapu Tapus and look, because we waited in our seats, there is literally not a line at all. Walk right on the ride. And that was Krakatoa, definitely the best ride here at Volcano Bay, a must, must do. Let's go check the wait time now because I can guarantee you it's probably outrageous. Like I said, everyone, get to this ride early. It is definitely the most popular and now a 120 minute return time. Crazy, the crowds are insane. Tip number five is I'm gonna show you all, all the major, huge attractions, water slides that you need to hit here at the park before the wait times get busy. These two rides right here, Hanu and Ika Moana ride, are two of the best slides here and have major, major waits now. This is at 50 minutes and this one is at 45 minutes. So definitely hit these two as one of your first rides in the park because it does get very, very busy. Here is the most popular ride here, Krakatoa, which Emily and I rode earlier and I told y'all is the most popular. This is definitely the number one ride you need to hit when you first get here. Come here, get your seats, and then come over here and tap in to the Krakatoa. I mean, look at this drop. So much fun. And one of the reasons why it is the most popular ride here at Volcano Bay. 
Here is two of the major drop sites here at Volcano Bay, the blue and the green. It is called the Kala and the Tanui. Now I heard the green one has the same uh, G-forces as the Hulk. I'm not sure if that's true. I've ridden it once. It is pretty intense, but I don't know as intense as the Incredible Hulk roller coaster. But these things do drop from the top of the volcano and come all the way down. Some of the more fun rides here, unless you are afraid of heights or the drop slides because the floor drops from underneath you and you shoot down. But some major slides here to hit while you're here at Volcano Bay. Some other popular slides here at Volcano Bay is the Oh No and Oh Yes yeah slide. And as you guys can see, you really fly off into a 10 foot pool. Let's see if anyone comes down. Now, I did ride this earlier. Look, see how fun it is? I did ride this earlier and I went on the green one, which has a little bit shorter of a drop, four feet into the pool, while the purple one over there has a, I believe a six, maybe seven foot drop into the pool. Actually, it might even be eight. I don't know. Sorry if I'm wrong, but these slides are so, so much fun. The ride with no weight at all is the Rapid River here at Volcano Bay. One of the more fun things to do here, crazy, you have to wear a life jacket because the water moves so fast. I will take you all there in just a second. Now, obviously you don't need a wait time for the wave pool here at Volcano Bay, but this is one of the more fun wave pools here in any water park that I've been to. I mean, look at the waterfall and how cool the volcano is in the background of the wave pool. It is a lot of fun and a must do while you're here at Volcano Bay. Last, but certainly not least, the big drop slide at the top of the volcano right there. As you can see, a 125 foot drop all the way down to here and exits right here. Watch how fast you come through at the end of this slide. It's absolutely insane. And you are down from the top of the volcano in less than five seconds. It is a lot, a lot of fun. Um, but once again, if you're afraid of heights, this definitely isn't a slide for you because out in the back of the volcano, you can see literally all of Orlando and all four major parks at Walt Disney World. And if you guys did not watch my last video, next week I will be staying at a Volcano Bay. I cannot wait. It's going to be so much fun. One of my favorite resorts here at Universal. So make sure you have those bells rung so you can be notified whenever I post that video. You know what, everyone? It is a very, very hot day here at Volcano Bay. And I think it's time to switch over to the GoPro and head in to the Lazy River. Let's do it. Welcome to the Lazy River, everyone. Let's go relax and have a good time around Volcano Bay. Such a fun time at the Lazy River. And look everyone, just as we are leaving Volcano Bay, Volcano Bay has hit capacity at 12.30. So make sure you get here in the morning because by 12, 12.30, the park is gonna be at capacity. All right, everyone, that is gonna be it here from Volcano Bay. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here, and ring that bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. I gave you all some major tips on how to survive the major, major crowds here during the summer, and especially here on Memorial Day weekend. And it's gonna be a crazy summer, a busy summer. So you guys definitely need to get to the park early, get those virtual lines fast, and it will make the most of your day and your time here at Volcano Bay. But like I said, I will see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Peace out.